Hello, I wanted to talk today about linear drumming. Linear drumming is where no two voices on the kit are played simultaneously. Normally when you're playing any kind of basic groove, the, uh, the notes are going to be layered somewhat between, say for instance, the eighth notes that you're playing on the hi-hat are going to coincide with notes that you're playing on the bass drum and the snare. With linear drumming, what happens is, is that no two voices are played simultaneously. So uh, this this can this can bring up some quite interesting combinations, and it's it's a, it's a this is a kind of a nice way into it. This is a fairly simple pattern, but you get start to get the, the to grips with what uh, what the concept is. So the pattern that we're going to use for this is we're going to be playing the same eighth notes. But now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing the first note on the bass drum, next two notes on the snare, right, left, another bass drum note followed by four more notes on the snare, right, left, right, left. Okay, so this is the basic pattern. Foot, right, left, foot, right, left, right, left, foot, right, left, foot, right, left, right, left. Now if we take that pattern and apply it to the hi-hat, you're going to hear it in a different way. Foot, right, left. We take that fifth note, that fifth right, after the second bass drum, put that on the snare, and we start to get a, um, a, linear, a linear groove. Which sounds very interesting, I, you know, that's, uh, that's an interesting way of playing, of playing that groove. Um, well, I'm gonna, when I was playing around with this, um, I was finding, trying to find a track that this you could really apply this to. And there's uh, there's a song on the um, on the Grade One Rock School syllabus called "Just in Time," which uh, which fits this perfectly. So we start by by playing that basic groove, but there's a section afterwards that goes into a, a kind of bass breakdown. So I thought, well, let's try and apply the uh, the linear pattern slightly differently. Um, so what I've done with this is to still play the same pattern, foot right, left, foot right, left, right, left, but we're now applying it to the toms and the snare. So you're going to get this. Okay. Then for the play out section, you know, why stick to uh, going back to the hi-hat and playing the groove that way? Let's open it up, play it on the ride, put the right hand on the ride, still the back beat on the snare and you're going to get this. Okay, so um, I'm going to play this along with the track and show you what I mean. If you've got the Grok School grade syllabus, have a go at this. Whatever you do, don't play it this way in the exam because the examiner will go, what? You know, and probably fail you because um, you won't be playing it as written. But if you, uh, if you want to have a, a, a go at it and just play something that's a little bit different along with the track, I'd say go for it. Thanks for listening. Give us any feedback that you think on the lesson. And uh, if you like what I'm doing here, I'll, I'll post more of these up. Okay, bye for now. And uh, enjoy watching. One, two, three, four.